Hey guys, my name is Lisa and in this video, I will be showing you how to create a custom mask transition that will allow you to wipe from one clip to the next using the actual objects in the video. So this is what it will look like. So I think this type of transition is called frame blocking because it's pretty much using a single frame of a clip to block the previous shot and reveal the next one. And I found so many tutorials for Premiere Pro, but not so many for Final Cut. And right now, I'm showing you how to do the frame blocking on Final Cut Pro 10.3. I'm showing you guys example of frame blocking using two of my original clips. So this is what it really looks like before I did the transition. So I used the tree right here, you guys can see. And then... I want to transition into this scene. So I wanted the transition to begin pretty much just right over here where you can kind of see the next scene right here. Right over here. So that's where I want the next clip to start to show up basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here. And then I'm going to start off the next clip right here and just put it right underneath the first clip. You go to the effects right over here and then you can search draw mask. And you drag it onto the clip right over here. So this is where it's going to ask you to click to add a control point. And then you can see this is where I'm going to start pretty much putting the draw mask. So I'm going to start from here. Right there. And then you want to see the screen as much as big as you can. So I'm going to get the screen size. I'm going to do this here. Go around. right there when you put the inspector window up you want to make sure that on the draw mask right here you want to inverse invert the mask so that starts showing up and then what you're gonna do is this is where you're gonna have to keyframe manually so go to the transform add a keyframe on position add a keyframe for the scale and add a keyframe on the control points right here. So position, scale, and control points. And then you're gonna move over one frame right here. And then you're just going to adjust and draw around the mask, just like this. And then you do that again, move over on a frame, and it automatically add a keyframe every time you move this. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. And then if you want to check it out, this is what it looks like when you when you move it. So this is what it looks like. And what you, you, can, you can adjust if you miss a spot or a keyframe. You can pretty much adjust the feather and the fall off however you like. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. So it's pretty much a draw mask and keyframing the position scale and the control points and that's pretty much it for the tutorial it's pretty easy so remember draw mask and keyframing i hope you guys liked the video if you did give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button i'll definitely be posting more tutorials and whatever i learn on final cut pro i'll definitely be sharing on my channel i'll be seeing you in the next video so take care and have a great day <laughs>